Hollywood made you a loser. Let me explain. You're watching the movie Creed, right? You're watching maybe the movie Black Panther. And you're like, whoa, I wanna, I wanna be like that. You get so motivated by what you see. And so you head out first thing in the morning. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna train. You look up his training routine, all this stuff. And you start doing it. And you train for maybe two weeks or maybe you start taking up boxing. But like I said, two weeks comes and you stop. You don't see results. So you're like, what's the point? My body hasn't changed. Now, let me tell you something. Even in social media and some of these things, they give the illusion of overnight success. They but the reality of it is, is that life is never this way. Depending on from where you're starting from, it might take you years to get to that point. You start seeing results in like three months. That's when you start seeing results. So for you to get to where you want to be, a year or two of, of putting in work takes time. Life is not a video game. I've explained this before. So where even in video games and in Hollywood and media and all this stuff like that, it's like, boom, you could just level up. Oh, now I got a body of a Greek guy. Like, no. And you know what? I've learned this because as a kid, you guys all know my story. I was chubby. I would always do these five minute ab workouts, two week routine to have six pack abs. I, I was one of those to do it, no results. Like probably one of the first lessons in life that I learned was that the result is not the reward. The journey of how far you've come and you looking back, that's the reward. Like I'd make sure that I suffered for those sweat and just suffering. And that took me a while. I feel like when you expect quick results, it's almost a disrespect to the people that are doing it. And that's another thing too, is like when you wanna do something, like let's say um, I tell you, start a YouTube channel. Oh, but I'm not good at speaking and who cares? I wasn't good at making videos either. I wasn't good at speaking. I was, yo, when I first posted my first video, I wanted to delete it. Like, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm embarrassing myself. But I stuck through and I just had the mindset of like, I'm gonna get better every video. And I'm not saying like post half-ass work or do half-ass work and just be like, oh, well, I'm gonna learn. No, what I mean is try your best. And even if you don't like it, you're like, okay, now I know where I can improve. Now I know where I can do better. It's almost a disrespect to when you're like, oh, but I'm not gonna be good at it. Like, of course you're not gonna be good at it. Nobody's an expert when they start. The way you get an aesthetic body is not being an expert from the beginning, but starting. You start, but you can't finish. Once you don't see any change, you want to see the change so bad. It's like, it's not about that. It's about the mentality. Only doing it for the result or what you can get, you will never stay. You should be striving for is having that grit, having that mentality of like, I'm going to train every day. I'm going to be a warrior. I'm going to be strong. And even if I don't see it today, it, it's going to come. Even if I don't see it today, it's going to come. Start branching off so you can figure yourself out. You can learn yourself better. Working out and discipline is a gate into your mind. You know who you are based off of the tasks that you do. They make it seem like it's quick and it's effort, but in reality, it took that person years and months of, you know, grueling tasks of no's, of failure, of learning and, oh, okay, I failed in this, let me see what I can do, of being broke, of doing all this stuff. And you expect to just have all the answers from the beginning, it's not gonna be like that. That's why I did the Spartan race. I, I didn't know nothing about marathons or obstacle course races or nothing. You gotta get out of your comfort zone and stick with it and become a new person. Part of you has to die to, to become a new person. That's what the journey is about. It's not about having six pack abs. It's not about having an aesthetic body. It's about becoming a new person, becoming the person you envision in your mind. So you can be better and you can be proud. When life comes and knocks you down, you can recover. You don't give up after two weeks of trying. And then it makes you wonder why is acts of discipline never shown? And there's something I realized when before I deleted my old Instagram account. The reason why I deleted it is because people don't care about acts of discipline they only care about seeing results that's only that's the only thing that everybody ever wants to see when you're fat and you're grinding and you're trying to lose 100 pounds nobody cares until you lose those 100 pounds now now they want to be your friend now they want to be like hey put me on to workouts hey put me on to this dog tell me how i should diet don't let the opinions of others or you being alone throw you off your grind nobody's gonna come and save you nobody's gonna come maybe support you you have your own support you have yourself that's something you got to be comfortable with and be able to do self-motivate so don't falter don't quit you know, I post, I post my body and stuff like that, my improvement. And I still get people saying like things like, oh, you, damn bro, you've been training so long, but why aren't your abs more defined? Or why do you look like that? Or why do you still look like this or whatever? I get discouraged, but I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I getting discouraged? These people are talking, but they're on their fucking couch eating a bag of chips every day, watching Netflix. They're not training, they're not doing what I'm doing. So why do I even care what they gotta tell me? Why do I even care what they see and their perception of me? Now that lit a fuse on them because now I am gonna look like that. Now I am gonna train. And guess what they're still gonna be doing? Watching TV, eating a bag of chips, watching Netflix, scrolling through their phones, still not training. Don't let people's words discourage you as well. You know on the path you're heading, you know the person you're gonna become and that's all that matters. That's basically the point of this video is do not be discouraged by media, 
the views of others. That's not what you should be doing this for. You're not doing this for the result. You're doing it for the person you want to become. My love. Peace.